Hello everybody, Big Beanie back again. Oh, I'm just gonna move some better in the camera. Let's move that around a little bit. There we go, you can see me a bit better. Oh, it's cold today. Oh, the uh, the winter frost has finally hit. Freezing my nuts off. But anyway, before we get started, quick little plug. Please check out my new channel, the uh, the Big Beardy Show, Big Beardy Show, whatever it comes up as. Link down below, go check it out. I've got a few videos on there now. I'm constantly adding to it. Hopefully there'll be something on there you like. So go check it out. But let's get into this video. Top tips for people who have joined the Curry Exchange. If you're new to the Curry Exchange, if you've literally just started, you've got your van, you're you're all insured, you're ready to rock, you've signed up to the CX, you've got your app, how do you get started? How do you start making money? How do you get yourself out there? So these are all things that I did when I started, and I still do a few of them, um, but some of them I don't really have to anymore, but these are things I did to get myself out there, get myself known. So number one, first one, Bid on everything. Pretty simple. Any job that pops up that you can realistically do, or you, you should be able to do, bid on it. There's going to be a, there's no point waiting for the perfect job or something that looks good. There's no such thing as the perfect job. Trust me. You'll hunt for it for the rest of your life. It's not out there. But just bid on everything. There might be some work out there that's like, oh, I've got to drive an hour to go pick it up. Well, if that's the case, put some more money on it. Basically, Bid the price that you're willing to get paid to do the job. You might, you probably won't win it if that's the if, because there'll be someone closer who can do it cheaper. But bid on everything. Get yourself out there. Get yourself known. Be as proactive as possible. Any job that pops up, it could be. It doesn't matter. As long as you can do it, bid on it. Get out there. Um, the CX has the, the e quote system on the app, which makes it very easy, especially if you're in a place like London or Manchester where jobs are pinging like that. You can just bid, 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 bid. So bid on everything. Number two, that sort of comes into uh, what I just said, is um, if you're struggling to get work, if you're bidding on everything and nothing's really coming up, start phoning shippers. I go on on a lot of videos about building relationships. I do think it's vitally important because it works for me. But build those relationships with the shippers because then they will more likely give you more work. Simple as that. So if there's a local shipper put, pinging up a job, Call them. Don't e-quote them. Call them. Because then you can start building that relationship. The problem with the e-quotes is it's just a number that pops up on a screen and they can accept or decline. But when you phone them, you have to engage in a conversation. And by doing that, you're engaging in building that relationship. I'll give an example. I think I was about the third week I was on the CX back in the day. A job popped up. I phoned the shipper. Um, I didn't actually win the job. The job had already sold. But by phoning the shipper, I started talking to him. And we ended up talking for about 20 minutes, back and forth, <clears throat> talking about how long I've been in the industry. I told him I knew, yada, 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 what sort of price I was looking at. Since that conversation, he's probably, <clears throat> excuse me, I've got a bit of a sore throat. Uh, don't worry, I ain't got the vid. I'm fine, I ain't got COVID. It's just a bit of a sore throat. Um, but he's ended up probably giving me 30, 40 jobs since then. And these are jobs he haven't been put on the CX. These are jobs he's phoned me directly because I built a relationship with him. So now he's like, right, well, I've got a long wheelbase job coming out of here. I'll phone Big Beardy because I know he potentially can do it for me. And that all came from me phoning up and not winning a job. So phone the shippers. There's a great way of, um, you can almost fish for those shippers. I like what I call fishing for them. When you phone them, there's little things you can hint at so even if you lose the job, that you phone them up and they'll be like, you, you'll say, oh, I've seen you've got a job from A to B. Yeah, this is how much I'm, I'm bidding on it. And that you get a little conversation. Yeah, you can drop hints. You can be like, yeah, well, you know, I'm local to that area, so it's it's a handy job for me. That might spark a little, the shipper might go, oh, you're local to that area? We have a lot of work coming out of that area. And you're just building those relationships, vitally important. So... Go fishing for those shippers. Make those phone calls. I know sometimes it comes up, no, uh, don't call, just e-quote, then you just you just e-quote. But calling shippers can be really important. Next up, from the get-go, uh, some people say um, you should go cheap when you start just to get yourself out there. Uh, it's, it's a hard one, that, because you want to win the work, and to win the work, you might have to go cheap. But what I would, I would warn you against it I'm, I'm not saying don't do it to win work 
But the problem you're doing then is you're setting a precedent for yourself where you might go cheap for a shipper who might have lots of work, but they expect the same price every single time. So let's say a job's worth £100. You go, oh, no, I'll, I'll go 70 quid, so then I'll definitely win it. They might phone you up in the next day or two days later and go, got another job, same job, 70 quid. And then you're like, ah, now he's expecting me to do every job that is that job at 70 quid, but that's not actually my price. It's very easy to go down in price. It's a lot difficult, a lot more difficult to go up. So then turn around to him and go, actually, it's 100 quid now. Because the shipper's going to be like, well, why? <laughs> you did it 70 quid the other day. Why is it 100 quid today? So I would just be wary if you are going to go a little bit cheaper. I don't, I think, you know, when you're, especially when you're starting, you want to get the experience, you want to win the work, go £5 cheaper. Go £10 cheaper just to get started. But don't go dirt cheap for the sake of it. Plus, you need the money. You've just signed up to the CX. It costs a lot of money to be on the CX. You've you've um, you've got to pay off your van. You've got insurance. If you're going cheap every single time. You very quickly are screwing yourself. Um, put it this way: if you went ten pound cheap on ten jobs, you've screwed yourself over a hundred quid. Hundred jobs, a grand, and it's very easy to do that. Just to screw yourself out of ten pound constantly when you're not going for the going rate. So, just. Be aware of that. Next up, learn your area, learn the jobs. You will, it's an experience thing, but if you are bidding on work, pay attention to where jobs are be being um, going from or being picked up from and going to. You will see patterns. Um, a lot of jobs will come out of certain areas. For instance, um, West London, Slough. Loads of work comes out of Slough. Loads of work goes into Slough. So if you're living in, you know, West London area, if you, if, let's say you live in Windsor or um, Egham, that area, or the other side, then park yourself up near Slough because being close to work is very important. I have a little area just outside Norwich uh, where I park up when I'm not bidding from work from home. I'll, when I've got nothing on, I drive to that area, I park up because... The, the CX has like a radar, and in that area, it picks up everywhere. I'm, I'm just in, um, I can get Yarmouth, I can get Norwich, I can get uh, Fetford from there, I can get all the places where work comes out in Norfolk, which isn't a lot of places, bear in mind. I'm also just around the corner from two or three rather large industrial estates, where work is more likely to come out of. Excuse me. So... Learning your area is very important. Learning the small local shippers is important because you want to call them and be proactive with them. Which comes on to my next point. Be really, really, really proactive. Our industry is reactive. We react because we're waiting for other industries to do stuff so we can move stuff for them. You need to be proactive in that industry. So you need to work harder, basically, to get, to, to get up to the, um, where everyone else is who is established. For instance, a lot of my work, I get phoned directly. It doesn't even end up on the CX. I just get a, a phone call from two or three different shippers who give me a lot of work, phone me up and go, got a job, A to B, here's the price, do you want it? If I say no, then it goes on the CX. So I'm already ahead. I'm already ahead of you. So how do you... So you have to be very proactive. Get up early. The CX starts getting busy about half eight. Eight to half eight, that's when the jobs start pinging. And then it picks up till about 10 and then it slows down a little bit. Um, and then it drops up four, half four onwards. It drops off completely. So get your ass up early because jobs will start pinging at seven. And you rather have a job nice and early than not. Um, and then when you start getting into the rat race, when everyone's bidding on everything at nine o'clock, it becomes more difficult. And I've had days where I, if I haven't got a job by sort of half eight till nine, I'm, I, I'm more... I've, I've before gone to my wife, gone, I'm not going to get a job till 10 now. Because you're in that rat race in the in that busy time where everyone's up, everyone's bidding. You need to get up early and get that early work or you might struggle to get work early in the morning. Which is another, come to another point. I'm just rolling off points here. If you can, book a job for the next day. If a job comes up and it says, picking up at four o'clock in the morning, jump on it. Jump on it. Seriously. Um... My best days are always when I've got a job and I'm picking up at 6 o'clock in the morning. Because 
If you pick up a job at four o'clock in the morning, let's say it's a four hour drive. Let's say it's a nice long one, 200 miles, yeah? Get there at four, you're probably not gonna get loaded till five, let's be honest. Four hours, nine o'clock. You've got a good chunk of cash in the bank before every, anyone else has even got a job. So a job pops up and says, picking up tomorrow morning at four, five, six in the morning, jump on it. Get that job because they are great jobs to have because you've already started your day. So there's some top tips. I hope they've helped. Um, I've rambled on a little bit. I'm, I'm not quite with it today. It's cold and it's, I haven't had a coffee. I need a coffee. I don't work without coffee. Uh, <laughs> I'm a coffee whore. We know this. But yeah, so if you're just new to the industry, you're trying to think, how do I get started? How can I really improve my chances? Those tips should help. I will bear in mind, we are in the middle of COVID pandemic lockdown bullshit season at the moment. And we were hoping 2021 would start with a bang and it started with a stay inside. Don't fuck around. Don't go outside. Don't touch anyone. Don't do anything. So it's been a bit of a shit show. But when we come out of these dark times, when we're back to normal, these tips really help you. They'll really help you now as well. Um, like if you have joined up in the midst of everything that's happened, good luck. Um, I wish you all the best. Um, please like, comment and subscribe. And as always, be safe out there and have a great day.